Greetings, cat lovers. We're back with another episode of Dear Tabby, the Cat Advice Show. I'm your host, Kristen Levine from the Pet Living Blog, and this is Dr. Liz Bales. Hi. You're getting between those two battling cats. We gotta work on this. Be careful. Don't get scratched. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the Cat Advice Show where people write in um, their cat conundrums, and Dr. Bales answers them. So we want to help you live happier, healthier lives with your cat. So this is one way that we can help you do that. And this is all brought to you by World's Best Cat Litter. So uh, we're going to jump right into our next question for today. And it is, dear Tabby, my two cats don't get along. What do I do? Can I make them get along? You can't really make a cat do much of anything. <laughs> What I always do is dial it back and start with the science. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited to be able to share this with you. So your cats by nature are what we call solitary survivors. They might be raised in social groups that they're born into, but it's really rare that they're gonna let a new cat in. So when we have a cat in our house and bring a new cat in, that is not, uh, nature doesn't serve them to be fast friends in most cases. Right. Uh, often you want to adopt those two cats together or adopt two kittens together, and you're going to have a much higher likelihood that they're going to get along. But your writer, your question asker has two cats. They're not getting along. What are we going to do? So we go to that science. Cats want to hunt alone, eat alone, go to the bathroom alone, and be able to rest in peace alone. So if your cats are not getting along, when we provide for all those things, we take the stress away. Imagine you, Kristen, had a roommate that you did not like. <laughs> Do you want to share a food dish with them? No. Do you want to brush your teeth next to them no. in the bathroom? No. No. So the best way we can do this, and our buzzword here is called multiple and separated resources. Okay. Multiple and separate resources. Multiple and separate resources. So if you have two cats, mm -hmm. you want to have at least two beds and two places for them to climb to a height in their favorite rooms. Okay. But ideally in separate rooms, right? Not necessarily. You, if things are scary, dangerous, and they're hurting each other, you might want to separate them. And we can talk about that um, in another episode. If we're going to dial it all the way back to what we call reintroduction. Mm -hmm. we'll talk about that. But if we're just taking the steam down, having them not have to uh, fight each other or be uncomfortable over places to climb and places to rest uh, in each room is going to take that stress off. So. Um, so you're going to have two cat trees, or you can have a cat tree and a, and a shelf right. somewhere. They can both get to a height to climb. Cats feel uh, much more peaceful when they can survey their environment. Sure. Um, and again, if you've got two cats, you want two nice cozy beds for them to rest in in each room. Mm -hmm. um, so we have places to climb, places to rest. And then we're going to talk about our favorite topic, <laughs> bathrooms. Yep and separate potty places. So, right, your cats might be fighting in the living room okay. because they're unhappy about the bathroom. Mm. So, you wanna have, if you have two cats, you want three litter boxes in three separate locations of the house. So, we talked about this uh, in a previous episode, but to a cat, these three litter box is one litter box. Mm. Cause so, they're all in the same area. Exactly. So if you and I don't get along and we have to share a bathroom, um, you might even be waiting outside the bathroom to pounce on me when I come out. <laughs> and you like to pounce uh, at the powder room so I get to go upstairs to the master bathroom and I can avoid you. Um, and that brings down that stress a lot. Cats really would prefer to avoid conflict. Mm -hmm. And these multiple and separated resources give them a way to avoid conflict. Excellent. And would multiple and separate resources perhaps result in maybe they do get along better? Absolutely. When, you take all that stress down, yeah. that you have a much higher likelihood that they're going to get along better. And the last place we see this is at mealtime. So almost every house around America is feeding their cats either out of the same bowl 
or have two or three bowls lined up in the kitchen. Sure. For a cat that's a solitary hunter, that is super stressful. Mm. Cats don't have a terrific way of showing us our stress. So they're going to get through their meal mm -hmm. uh, and then maybe go beat the heck out of each other two hours later in the living room. <laughs> so Not if, funny. I'm laughing, but because I've seen it happen. <laughs> right? So, so the first thing to do uh, is to separate those bowls. Mm -hmm. You can move them around the kitchen. Same thing about water. Let's have multiple water stations around the kitchen. Now, I'm going to take it a step further. Okay. Me, bowls and kitchens are for people. Cats are hunters. So if we separate that food into lots of little feeding devices and hide them around the house, mm -hmm. now you're meeting the cat's hunting need. That's going to bring down their personal stress. Okay. You're having those multiple and separated resources. So you get to hunt over there and I get to hunt over here. You're bringing down the stress. You're much more likely to have a happy household when you meet all their needs. That's fantastic. And you know, and it's so funny how we tend to do things the way that we want to do them, like putting the three bowls next to each other or, three, or putting the litter boxes all together. And it's really just about thinking about what your cat would prefer. It's, some, of, some of it's just common sense. And, and it's common sense for people to give, like just like you said, to give them what we want. Yeah. But when we know the science of what makes cats happy and we can give it to them, we really end up with a happier, healthier cat. Yeah. And times that by two, three, five cats in one household, you can really change your cat's life. That's true. That's awesome. I love it. I love it, Dr. Bales, thank you so much. Um, if you wanna check out those cute little feeders, those little mice feeders, check out Dr. Bales' website at docandphoebe.com. And the way this works here at Dear Tabby is we take your questions and when we have the same question recurring, we answer it and we'd love to answer them all. So we will hop into the comments and answer as many as we can. But if you have a specific question, go ahead and put it in the comments. If you like this video, please share it with your other cat loving friends. And, um, and thanks uh, to World's Best Cat Litter for making this possible. We wanna help you, like Dr. Bale said, live happier and healthier lives with your cats. So until the next episode, we will say meow for now. Meow for now. <laughs> okay.